Last week, Season of Discovery launched, and on my way to 25, but also at max level, I learned many new things. And these I would like to share with you today, so you can level up quicker, get into raids even faster, and also make a ton of gold. And for that particular reason, I have a bit more than 200 gold right now, and I also leveled up my professions for free. So here's the first trick. Whenever you have a cooldown on your hearthstone, or if you need to go to a new main city you haven't been to before, then what you can do is simply ask someone to sign you up for a battleground in that particular city. When you join the battleground and leave it, you'll be teleported to the location where that person signed you up. This allows you to, for example, go to Stormwind City in a matter of seconds, or Danassus. Useful if you haven't been there before and you need to hand in a quest, a supply crate, or if you just don't want to wait till your hearthstone is ready. Just remember, you need to be level 10 before you can take advantage of this trick, because by that level, you can start signing up for Wars and Gulch. So like I mentioned, you can use this trick to hand in your supply crates a lot quicker, and you can either hand them in instantly, or purchase the different materials on the auction house to complete the shipment. When you complete the shipment, you're rewarded with a lot of additional reputation, and this will not only be time-saving, but also quite important. As the faction you gain reputation with allow you to purchase a 10 slot bag when you reach friendly and a 12 slot bag at honored. And when you reach honored, you can even purchase a new rune for your specific class. As a rogue, I for example now have the possibility to finally tank. What I did to quickly gain a lot of reputation was simply just to go outside of the main city. Here I would be searching for different chests as there's a high chance that you will also get a supply crate in these. And then you just run back to the main city, go to the auction house and purchase the materials. This you do until you reach friendly. Then you will need to go to a higher level zone, for example Duskwood, Stone Teller Mountains, Southern Part of Barrens or Ashenwell. Just remember that it's not a guaranteed chance that there will always be a supply crate in a chest. It's just fairly high compared to killing enemies in the open world. In my opinion, the estimated chance is probably around 50-50 because either it happens or it doesn't. Anyway, jokes aside. For those of you that would like to gear up a lot quicker, then you should also consider doing battlegrounds and open world PvP in Ashenwell. The reason for this is because when you rank up and you get to rank 3, you can purchase a level 25 cloak. And this cloak gives 4 to all stats, so it will be useful no matter what class you play. When you do Battlegrounds and Ashenwell, you will also be given reputation. And this reputation you can use to purchase amazing rewards. I know some of these rewards are level 18, but they're still quite useful, especially the neck, as it's quite difficult to also get one at level 25. To purchase most of these rewards, you will need to reach Honored, but some can also be purchased when you reach Friendly. For example, a level 20 trinket, and there's even a level 40 version that you can purchase in Phase 2. Amazing bandages and food, yeah even 3 new heads, a cloth, leather and male type. These reduces your chance to be crit, but also damage taken by 5% while in Wars and Gulch. This can only be used in Ashenwell, but it increases your movement speed by 50%. So useful when the battle is going on, or when you're farming supply crates. So how do we quickly gain the reputation? Well, every once in a while, the battle for Ashenwell will begin. It can be noted at the top. When it gets to 100% for Alliance and Horde, the battle will also begin. What you will need to do in order to win the battle is simply to slay three minibuses, followed by a final one. And the location of these will always be the same, and are marked on your map. To maximize the amount of honor and reputation I gain, I always make sure to join a raid group. This way I'll also know what minibus they're going for next, and as we're going for this, I always make sure I attack all the nearby guards. These grants around 5 to 10 reputation each, but you also gotta make sure you attack each individual target. Without doing this, you won't grant any reputation. This is also the same case with each minibus. You gotta make sure you at least do one attack, not just a raid or party member, no, you need to do it. But then you will also be granted 200 reputation when the bus dies, even though you die or if your corpse running. As of right now, I also feel like this is the fastest way to gain reputation compared to doing wars and goals. But this also depends if you're winning every single fight in the battleground. If you do so with for example a pre-made, then it might be even better. But what I would highly recommend you to do is to change your hearthstone to Ashenwell, so when the fight is about to begin, and if you can't get summoned, then you can also be there immediately. 
What I also like about having my heartstone here is that I can easily get to the location, farm chest and get supply crates. Talking about farming, then remember to always pay attention to any nearby rares. They have a high chance of dropping a green or even a blue item and these can easily be sold on the auction house because most of the gold I've made has been with the auction house, either killing rares or even leveling up in profession. Yeah, it was a possibility to purchase materials, craft different green items and then sell these on the auction house, where in most cases I would make a profit or at least break even. And advertising my items in the world, trade, but also yell chat helped me a lot. Sometimes I could craft these items and instantly sell them. So leatherworking might actually be my number one gold maker so far, or else it has to be winter flips. So where I purchase an item at a winter and I sell it on the auction house. My number one item has been the elite shoulders. And because there are so many layers in the game, then if you use a layer swapping add-on, you can take advantage of this and sometimes get the shoulders. I purchased the elite shoulders for around one gold. And in the beginning, I flipped them for five gold. And as of right now, they're usually selling for close to 15 gold. There's quite a few locations where you can purchase these shoulders. So what you could do would simply be to bring some bank characters to the locations and then frequently check if they're up for grab. An easy way to level up a lot quicker is to make sure you always scout for different runes as you're leveling up. These will grant you new abilities and spells that will help you level as they usually do a high amount of damage compared to some of your other spells. There's even an add-on that will track what class you're playing and tell you where and how to obtain each individual rune. I'll leave a link to this add-on in the description below this video. The name of this add-on is Rested Experience and you can try it out for free right now. There's even a full version that also comes with a lot of additional handy tools, for example, a leveling guide all the way up to max level. And this will continue to be updated throughout all the different phases and it's a one-time purchase only. So make sure to use the link below this video to get redirected to the page where you can also get the add-on. And if you would like to purchase the full version, then apply my discount code GUIDEMMO. In the different dungeons, you can find many chests that contain green and blue items. But did you know you can also farm chests in the new raid Black Fathom Deeps? Yeah, I'm saying farming because it seems like they're going to respawn. So when you have cleared the full raid, you might also have a couple of days before the raid is going to reset. But this is also perfect because as you're waiting for the raid to reset, you could also be farming these chests and giant clams. It seems like the respawn time is around 30 minutes, so you could clear the run, go to the entrance and then just wait for them to respawn and go again. And you have no competition in here, you can get bags, green and blue items. Just remember, we never know if they're going to hotfix this. If that's the case, then it might not be working by the time you're watching the video. When I leveled up my first character, I had no clue we would get a lot of additional gold or silver when we completed a quest at max level. So what I would highly recommend you to do is to keep all quests between level 20 to 25. Instead, you should be focusing on doing dungeons so you get rare items. Because by the time you get to max level, you will gain so much more additional silver and gold when you complete a quest. This quest, for example, rewarded me 35 silver if I did it at level 24, but look what happens when I reach level 25. All of the sudden, most quests grant me between 50 silver and all the way up to 2.5 gold each. This is so insane. So if you're currently leveling up, or if you're going to level an all character, make sure to do some dungeons on your way to max level and keep quests for level 25. At least I will do this the next time I'm going to level up an old character. Because so far on my rogue, even though I didn't have many quests, I've easily made 50 gold just by doing quests. The next one is for all of those rogues and druids out there that would like to get the leggings of the fang from Wailing Karens. You could either do this on your own if you have some proper gear or do it as a two-man party. Then you just continue to farm until both of you have the leggings. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see other tips and tricks, then make sure to check out the channel or subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified the next time I post a new Season of Discovery video. As always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace!